Hello Reapers, my name's Seth and today we're going to be talking about this box right here. Citaria's Watery Cat, I don't even know, but either way, we're going to be talking about it today because of the simple fact that, honestly speaking, I don't think you're going to craft this one. For some weird reason, uh, like, I, I, I really don't know why the uh, chest that you can end up getting out of the daily logins, none of them have been worthwhile up to this point. This one's actually pretty good, it's pretty close to being useful, but the fact that it takes 18 tokens uh, is why it's actually like so useless. And honestly speaking, I feel that it's uh, kind of a, you know, th this system itself for the login tokens be is becoming kind of redundant for the simple fact that if you're a free to play player, you're gonna want to save pretty much all of your tokens for the entire month to get both the mount and then the special item, which is usually just another mount or an ally. Uh, rather than being able to just spend your extra coins, which you should always have, uh, on the boons themselves. But we are going to end up crafting all the boons for this month, outside of the fact that, uh, you know, if you're a player that's at the beginning of the game, maybe it's actually worthwhile to get these things. I personally don't think so, because what this is going to be is when you end up actually crafting one of these bad boys, you're going to be able to loot collect it afterwards, right? And it's going to give you five Cetaria's Watery Treasure Urns, which is going to end up giving you uh, an empowered water gem like just out of it no matter what so you're gonna get five guaranteed radiant or stellar empowered water gems which i mean honestly speaking that could end up being pretty useful if you're just starting out but for most people that just know the grime uh, like the grind of like gem farming and stuff like that you know that it's not necessarily going to be worth it because it's way too random now if those boxes would give you a guaranteed stellar water gem Five of them, in fact, I, I would say that that's actually worthwhile because then there is still topped, uh, topping those with the RNG fact of are they going to end up generating with all three stats and is it going to be stats that you need? Is it going to end up being pyro disc or one of the other gems that you want? Blah, 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 blah. You, you know how it goes. But in either case, you're also going to end up getting five lapis luck bugs. We know that those are useless. Five golden gem keys. Now, golden gem keys you exclusively can end up using uh, on gem boxes, which is going to end up giving you the rare out of a gem box so those can kind of be useful but not really because that's just five gems as opposed to just farming the same amount of dungeons that you need to trigger the karma depending if you have patron or not which uh, you know in that regard they are still useful but the fact that it's 18 tokens that's that's the big reason why this is just a big no-no because otherwise this actually would be a very useful box outside of the fact that it costs too much. Like, you should be able to craft two of these a month, honestly speaking. Uh, and then otherwise you get one builder superior focus. Again, they really love to think that those items are extremely worthwhile. But there is another double factor to consider here, folks, is the builder's focus is not going to be nearly as valuable because when the Trove Heroes update, they're going to end up cutting the price of the flux on all of the focus items like uh, an insane amount like these gold focus items actually do become quite worthwhile after the trove heroes update ends up hitting but anyways let's just unbox some of these and get ourselves some bell and brilliance at least a little bit there not really that many that's the biggest reason why i think honestly they really should change this system so that it's either just requiring less tokens overall for both of these items so that free-to-play players would have an option to actually get more boons because otherwise free-to-play players are asked to trade mastery uh, for the fact that they could end up getting boons, which is a really, really good way of actually getting yourselves Bound Brilliance, because lots of people are always complaining about how they actually don't get enough Bound Brilliance in the game, and most of all, that's just because of the fact that nobody is able to actually craft these boons outside of maybe one or two a month, and it's like, gross. But in this case, you can just keep crafting the boons, you don't gotta worry about this box. Maybe that's intentional, I don't really think so though. But either way, it still is cool that it's there, but it's not really required. You can just skip it and honestly, you'll get a lot further with the Bound Brilliance anyways. Thanks for watching though, folks. Just wanted to do a quick video letting you know about that so that you can skip it. Just start crafting all the boons right now. Trove Heroes should be on March 27th because the St. Patrick's Day event is going on until the 26th, so I'm really excited about that. Otherwise, sign away and stay epic, everybody.